Hello and welcome to WiseLink Academy. I'm going to be considering an aspect um, on that technical drawing called geometric construction. We're going to be constructing angle 52 and half. Angle 52 and half. Um, the first thing I wanted to know is that in engineering, sorry, in technical drawing, perhaps we have some special angles. They are as follows, as you can see in front of you. Angle 90, angle 60, angle 45, and also angle 30. These are what, these are what special angles, in terms of what angles, right? Now, my question is here now. As you can see the question in front of you. The question goes below. Using the angle of the 45 and 60 degree set square as a base, Construct the construct what angle 52 and half. Now my question is that angle 52 and half falls in between which range? I'm having 90, 60, 45, and 30. So for the angle 52 and half falls in between what 60 and 45, right? 60 and 45. As you can see, my arrow indicating. Alright, my first task is to draw my horizontal line. With the F of my T square this way, I will draw my horizontal line at this point. Make sure it's a thick line, right? I'll draw a thick horizontal line this way. I can call this my point A and call this my what? My point B. Right? So we said um, to produce out angle 52 and a half. We need to what construct out what 60 and 45. So with the help of my um, set square, I will take my comp uh, my set square this way. This is 60, right? Like this is 30. So what we just need is what 60 and 45. So I'll take it this way, take it this way, like this. As you can see, so I will just draw a faint line, please, a faint line because. We do not really need that angle, so I call this here angle 60 degree, right? All right, you must not take in it because we are not told to find for 60. Perhaps we are told to find for 42 and half. So we said we're going to construct our 60 and what 45. So I'll take my 45 this way. At this point, draw a faint line to indicate what 45 degree. Right, so question please the distance from this point to this point here, the angle here is going to be what 15. If I minus 60 from 45, I get what I get 15. Right, I get 15. So, therefore, I need to bisect if I divide 15 to 2, I get 7.5. Right, so 7.5 plus 45 will give me 52 and a half. That is 2.5. So I need to bisect these two angles here with my compass. So I'll take my compass um, at this point. You can see, there's any other of, of your choice. Come to this point A. You can see, strike an arc here. Just cut it arc this way. So come to this point. Let's call this point my point A prime. This point A prime prime. So come to A prime prime. Strike an arc this way. And then come to A prime at this point, call the arc. Where the arc cut is at this point. Meet Abby. So I will simply take my meter rule and draw a thick line this way. So here is 7.5 7 Abby. Is this is the line I drew here now? If I add 7.5 plus 45, I get what 52. And half. So therefore, the angle from this point here, the angle from this point here to this point is going to be what 52 and half. From this point to this point, 52 and half. These are to construct. Um, here's the idea. All right. If I'm told to now construct. If I'm told to construct this angle using my compass, how do I go about it? I will draw um, a straight line 
this way, horizontal line this way as we did earlier. Sorry, draw horizontal line this way. Right? This is my point A, my point B. Right? So I will extend point A with a straight line. Right? So my next step is what? Any radius of my choice, with any radius of my choice, come to this point A. Just draw a semicircle this way. I have it. So my next task now is to take the measure from this point to this point. As you can see, strike an arc. Automatically, if I draw a line connecting them, it's what? Angle of 60. So I'll take my meter rule and draw uh, a straight line. Right, connecting those two points, this point here and this point A, center point A, this way, with a straight line. Why? Because I do not need the angle. This is angle what 60 degree. My next task is what get 45. How do I get 45? We know that what half of 90 is 45, right? I need to produce out 90 here, so I can just take my um, compass this way, this man here. Take a distance from here to this point, right? Now strike an arc up here, faint arc, come to this point here, draw an arc. So where they meet, where the arc meets is at this point, right? Simply draw a vertical line upward, the faint line. Here is what? 90 degree, right? 90 degree, as I was told to do. Now, we know that for me to get 45, I need to what bisect 90 because we know that 90 divided by 2 is what 45. So therefore, I will take my compass. I will call this point here point A prime. I call this point here A prime prime. Simply take your compass at point A prime. Strike an arc this way. Come to point A prime prime. A prime prime. Cut the arc. Where the arc intersects is at this point, right? Meet. So simply take a metal rule and connect it together. Here is going to work 45 degree this way. Now you know I cannot get 52 and a half only by what? By set the angle between these two to get 7.5. So I'll take my compass. I will call this point here my point B. I call this point here my point B prime prime. Now at my point B, right? I'm just extend it so that you can see the act. So it's not connected to other people's act, other acts. So take this way. At point B, strike an arc this way. At point B prime prime. Right? At point B prime prime. As you can see what I'm doing. Then cut the arc. Cut the arc. The arc cut at this point. As you can see, so similarly, I'll just take my this point here and draw a thick line. Here is what 7.5, right? If I add them together, I will get what 52 and a half. So therefore, the angle from this point here, I mean from this point here, from this point here, from this point to this point. It's going to be what 52 and a half from this point here to this point 52 and half so if you have found this um video an helpful one to you kindly click on the subscription button and like thank you welcome to wise link academy